Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the DC Universe Green Lantern Classics Wave 2 Figure 2, Carol Ferris the Star Sapphire. Now she looks very nice in packaging here. Um, she comes with the arm of Stell, who is the Collecting Connect in this series. And she does not come with any other accessories or a base or anything like that. So, with all that said, onto the back of the packaging here, you can see her picture, and her read-up says, In love with the Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, Carol Ferris resisted her Violet Ring's orders to leave Earth and travel to Zamoron, home of the Star Sapphire Corps. In response, the ring twisted her feelings, causing her to treat him as an enemy. Once she joined the Star Sapphire Corps, Ferris went from villain to hero, eventually fighting alongside her beloved Hal Jordan to stop the cataclysmic crisis known as the Blackest Night. We'll zoom in on her stats here. If you want to read them, you can pause it right there. Down here, the other characters in the wave, and over here, Stell when he's all put together. So that being said, um, I was really let down by the Blackest Knight, Carol Ferris, and um, this character already, I mean, this figure already looks to be a much bigger improvement on, if nothing else, at least the sculpt. Let's pull her out of the packaging and see how she stacks up. And here we have Carol Ferris, the Star Sapphire, out of packaging. Um, real quick, her piece of Collecting Connect Stell. Gonna be a very nice figure when he's all put together. And Carol Ferris is a very impressive sculpt. Um, they did a really good job on her head sculpt there. Um, and once again, it's going to be hard to get on camera, but the detail on the rings in this line is fantastic. Um, they went with a really nice shade of kind of purplish pink for her outfit. Um, really good job on the hair. So as far as sculpt, um, she's re really solid as well. Um, she's a little bit frail and standing up, but once you get that right pose in there, she's going to stay just fine. Um, now, as far as articulation, her hair does kind of have to be watched because it does hinder some poses. Um, it keeps her head pretty much permanently in place, although it is clearly on a ball joint. Um, her arms do a full 360, but they feel kind of frail. I'm afraid if I do too much, they'll break. Um, they spin at the bicep here. I mean, yeah. They bend at the elbow and spin at the wrist. There is an abdomen joint, but it seems to have pretty much zero articulation. Um, same for both arms. Legs go forward, back, out, spin at the quadricep, bend at the knee, and have an ankle joint. So um, the articulation is a little bit less than what we're usually used to getting, but it's still a solid figure. Um, I would have liked to have seen at least one accessory. I mean, a flying base. I always harp with this line. I'm like, give us a flying base. So much extra room in packaging. Give us something. Or even an energy construct of some sort for her ring. Um, because, as is, she's still definitely worth the pickup. The line's running around 15 bucks, around 18 in Toys R Us. Um, I still highly recommend getting her. And I'll go ahead and say, far superior to the Blackest Night um, Star Sapphire, who was reissued from Wave 3 of the Green Lantern DC Direct series. Let's get them up for a side by side here. As you can see, um, the DC Direct figure is clearly dwarfing her in comparison, but I despise that face sculpt. Um, as you can see, clearly two eyes looking two different ways. Um, I really, ha I mean, the clear sparkly paint job they gave, well, sparkly detail they gave her, it's okay, but I like the standard outfit a lot better. And, um, I don't know. Overall, as far as articulation, she definitely wins out. The only thing this character's got on her, I mean, this figure's got on this one, is a base. And that's quickly solved by taking her off the base, which I won't because she couldn't stand without it. Another plus in this one's favor. So that being said, um, definitely one of my favorite Star Sapphires. Mm. A great figure, a must-own. That being said, this is J Train 997 and I'll see you soon, YouTube.